On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, another round of Funko Snaps, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. A security Breach, this is the second wave. We went through a few of the other sets earlier in the year. Had to add on to them because they're snaps and the more you mix and match, the more entered. Whoa! Did someone just throw a couch at me? The more you mix and match, the more... Okay, someone definitely threw a couch at me. You gotta be careful with these. My gosh, don't throw couches, guys. But yeah, the more you have, the more you can mix and match. And that's what makes the... Squirrel, Squirrel Stampede! stampede. <laughs> so there, finally, on the table, more Funko Snaps, Five Nights at Freddy's, Security Breach! This is Glamrock Freddy with Dressing Room. Oh, probably released a few months ago now. I really have got behind on my FNAF collectioning. I didn't pick up the entire Security Breach line. I liked the room here for Glamrock Freddy. Contains an arcade machine, a star table, and a couch, a little sofa couch. These can get kind of spendy, so I went with just Glamrock Freddy and the Vanessa with hallway pack. Also available, a Montgomery Gator with dressing room. Both pretty bright and vivid. But I gotta go with my boy Freddy here, Glamrock Freddy, with the dressing room. So let's see this room, this room out of box. Oh my, there's the dressing room. There are pieces everywhere inside this dressing room. Whoa, is that Vanny? Vanny's not supposed to be in this pack, and why is she throwing couches at us? Duck, oh, duck, oh man, what? Hey, what's going on there? Get Vanny, get Vanny, security breach, security breach. Stop throwing couches at us! Stop throwing couches! How did she get out? How did she get out? Oh great, she did get out. I knew those paper clips on this box were too good to be true. Oh why? Why did it come that way? Well, if we can have a peaceful moment, maybe here's the Glamrock Freddy with dressing room setup. Checking a look at the dressing room setup first. Highly detailed these are. They've done such a great job detailing these up. We've got Freddy outlines on the ground, Glamlock Freddy graphics on the wall, Freddy Fosbear, a little bit of graffiti, a desk, a mirror that's almost reflective. You can almost see me over there. Hi! Where am I? Hi! I'm right I don't know where I am, but it's such a nicely, highly designed room. Then we've got some items to place inside the room, like this really cool star table, very rock star like and this awesome arcade machine, a nice glam rock arcade machine. Look at the lightning bolt styled color, just like you would expect the team to be. And we can place back here in the corner. Then of course we did have a couch, a couch sofa couch that would fit right there if Vanny didn't steal it. Uh oh. Got it! Got that couch! Place that right there. So highly detailed, fun room. And if you've picked up a previous Snaps room, they actually combine together at the door frames and all these little posts squeeze and sandwich in together. And you now have one full giant diorama room that holds together almost too darn well. Ah, there we go. And the more you collect, the more rooms of a franchise you have. Now looking at Glamrock Freddy, where is Glamrock Freddy? There's his legs. If you're new to Snaps, they're designed pretty well considering it's Funko. Usually Funko likes to make stuff that kind of breaks, but they just snap so easily into one another. And it's the sound, it's the sound I like. They actually snap in together really well. And pick a face mask. We got kind of a straight faced Freddy here and we've got kind of a more angry face. We'll try straight face. There we go. This figure though is almost too bright to look at. The orange and the yellow, they just stand out. They're burning my eyes, they're burning my eyes. And we have an accessory, a microphone accessory piece. I think I was able to get him to hold on tight. So a pretty cool room setup as long as Fanny doesn't come out and get that couch and throw it at ya. Maybe we should check out a couple more figures and do some mix and matching. Okay, I didn't pick up Montgomery Gator's dressing room, but I did pick up a Montgomery Gator and Glamrock Chica kit. That seemed to be the better way to go. Get a couple figures, that way I didn't double up on two Montgomery Gators. Getting these guys out. Oh, that's a lot of pieces and parts. Who shall we build first? Let's get Monty out. 
Monty has a nice green gator piece set going with him already. I can tell with tail and a torso body. This must be it. Which way, which way? If I recall, you can't flip the torso. So if I were to go this way, I can't snap it in. It has to be, um, it snapped in. That never happened before. I swear that never happened before. What is with today? Can I get his head in upside down? Yes, that didn't happen last time. Did that happen last time? Let's get out old Freddy. Can I flip his torso over? Upside down? It can, you can put them in upside down. I don't remember that happening for some reason. Did I even try it? Maybe I forgot to try it. Anyhow, now that I've segued in the wrong direction, you can snap these in a variety of ways, apparently. Mainly just the legs, torso, and head. And you can, I guess, theoretically change the arms out. They are on ball joints. Ugh. But as soon as I did that, I noticed plastic fatigue. So don't do that. Don't do that. It's going to break them. And we all know Funko makes stuff that really breaks. So let's see. We've got this cool headpiece with star glasses and, oh, this gnarly piece here. Let's, let's start them off happy. Although right now I'm not very happy from that plastic fatigue I set in on that arm plate. So there's Monty. Let's get Chica belt. Chica here with her legs and her body. This is a great opportunity to learn which way do thumbs go, up or down. And then Chica's head plate. Or I should say head. And then pick a head plate. Oh, this one's been gnarled. It's gnarled out and so we'll just go with basic. I think I got their guitars switched. This must be Chica's. And they don't have the best grip with these, honestly. The grip could be improved. I mean, maybe I should say the grip is so strong that it's almost difficult to work with instead of weak. And each now with their musical instrument. So that's a fun, like-minded couple. Look at Monty. Well-designed Monty. One of the most colorful characters in the universe there. Backwards a little bit right now. A uh, big pompadour hair piece, mohawk pair hair piece. Good leg paint with the scales, purple shoes, uh, just all around interesting how he somehow balanced his guitar on Chica's guitar is kind of creeping me out. But we're gonna just go with it. And then glam rock Chica, looking good as well. Uh, get her straightened up. Oh, these, these guitars are just trouble. Get that down there. So pretty good figure too, painted well. Got her birdie feet like paint, pink body style, orange, green highlights here and there. So two really fun figures. And of course, we can do some mixing with them. So now we got Montgomery Chica and Chica Gator going on. Chica Gator. And I believe we can switch face plates too, which makes us all the more crazy. So let's take a faceplate of gator, put it on chica, and a chica on a gator, and now you've got some really interesting pieces. Let's take a look at that gnarled up one. This one is really quite creepy cool. Look at this one. It's so battle damaged. Very nice. And what chica's was like opened, ripped open, just, just absolutely disgusting. So you have both of those looking good. The double packs are really quite fun. They're the best ones to get because you've got something instantly to mix, match, and snap. So now that we've got these, oh no, Fanny's back, Fanny's back. Watch out, she just threw a guitar at me. Oh no, not the other guitar. Oh, watch out, another guitar and up oh, a faceplate. Oh, there's a faceplate stuck to the screen. She's a menace. Make sure when you look for a Fanny, the paper clips are not there and it's molded down. This is ridiculous. What else do we have today? Well, maybe Vanessa can help us out. Can Vanessa help us out? She looks like she has the right credentials. She's a security guard, right? Security breach, we got that. This might be the first and only hallway? Hallway build? Not just a large room, but maybe a room to place in between. Box includes two face pieces, one torso, one bottom, one head, one accessory, one play set base, one play piece. There she is. I don't know about this one. Not so sure I can trust her, actually. Trash can can be moved around. Ugh. Let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at it out of box. And Vanessa with hallway out. Uh, I believe these are here for connecting. We'll get to those in a second. So what do we have here? It's a wall. It's a hallway with a door center stage. Actually kind of makes for a nice little display piece. I like that. You can place several snaps on this wall here for display. 
and seeing if we can snap up Vanessa here. Where did her legs go? Things are just flying everywhere today. The legs back here. Oh wait, they're right here, right in front of me. And then her security guard shirt. Make sure thumbs are up. And a headpiece. Look at the giant noggin on her. Well wait, I thought she was human. Is she human? Or was she corrupted by glitch trap? I'm a little bit confused with the lore now. Help me with the lore. Um, there's her face, just kind of straight face. There's her face, kind of angry. Let's go with straight face. I'm keeping everybody happy right now. As best as they can be. Oh, a little bit crooked, a little bit creepy. There you go with the Vanny. No, that's not Vanny. Oops. Or is it? That's Vanessa. Excuse me. Wouldn't want something to get confused. I need to go to the bathroom. Okay. Well, while Vanessa goes to the bathroom... Oh no, Vanny's back. And once again, she's throwing things at us. No, not the trash can. Ow! Don't throw that. Stop that, Vanny. Get out of here. Shoo! Shoo! I highly request not to open that one. I hope I didn't miss anything. <laughs> Okay, this is just not cool. Anyway, we got Vanessa here on step here. There's her with some of the other Glamrock security breach snaps. Okay, so let's see if we can connect, connect, combine these rooms together. What does connect mean? Uh, on the base here, we've got L. I think L is gonna match up with this side. Oh, that's too easy. Then this side matches up here. If I can line it up. Now, if you want, you can have your snaps parade around a hallway if they each grab an arm and or, and or hopefully combine these rooms together somehow. Yes, just like that. They fit like this. So it's actually a hallway now, a hallway piece to bridge rooms. This is something highly needed from the first series. So we've got a broom bridge to go with. How did that Glamrock Freddy get in here? Now we can bridge rooms, although maybe not the same location. I can't remember where this location fits in with this location. But the hallway is a pretty cool piece to add in there. So one more figure pack to look at, and that is the official Vanny pack. Like I said before, mine came kind of like this with paper clips. It was so odd. Inside that pack, what's left, I've got this Vanny faceplate. Kind of creepy and a pizza slicer, which is a really cool accessory piece. Now, if just that darn wabbit would stop for a second, yeah, gotcha, now we can show you. So this is your Vanny Funko Pops figure. Eyes, bloodshot red, that's creepy. Uh, snapping head, snapping body with bow tie and mix and match pieces. So that's what I kind of picked up for this group of security breach. That's pretty much everything except for Montgomery Gator's dressing room. I would have had an extra gator, so I, I stayed away from that option. And I think we had enough fun here to share. All right, let's really mix and match. So bringing back Glamrock Freddy, uh, Chica Montgomery. We got Fredbear over here, just a basic series one. Uh, Vanessa is here. And I don't know how Glamrock action figure Freddy got here. A bunch of pieces are over here. Such a colorful group here. Let's just rip the head off Vanessa and place down a Fredbear on top. Oh, that's kind of creepy. He can go out in public now and pop her head over here. Are you really a singer, Vanny? Vanessa? Kind of miss Montgomery Gator's face. Doesn't look right with Chica Smash on there. So let's put this face down there. And let's switch the body, though, of this one onto this one here. I love the sound. Do you like the sound? That's what, it's all about the sensory with this collection. The sensory sound effects are really quite cool. Let's do a face switch on this one. I wonder which one I could do. That one isn't authentic at all. There's just so many things you can switch and match with in this line. One of the best rooms was the series one parts room. That's off screen right now. Honestly, if there's any room you pick up, it's the parts room because of the uh, just the back wall there and placing faces there. It's really fun. Too bad we can't really stack them. They weren't really designed for that. That would have been so cool. Have this stacked, added another room like Gator's room and another hallway. Had four stacked on three, that would have been great. This is just gonna fall off. So I'll move for now. 
So what have I created here? A uh, Monte Chica guard, a security glam Fred, a Fred guard with Vanny pants, and well, this Freddy hasn't done anything but just been upside down the whole time. So just fun, fun with face changing. They all switch and match so well. I have heard from a few people, be careful with these posts can break too. If you're like really aggressive and slide it down, they could break off into the headpiece. That would be sad and unfortunate. You'd be, that would make it really difficult to switch faces. And be careful with just the overall snap. They do make great noises, but I believe, you know, it's Funko. Funko is not known for quality. They're known for great productions of things that don't typically get produced. They're known for some good paintwork and some sculpts, I believe. I like that. But man, quality control with Funko is usually pretty awful. Don't ask me about the joints on the ball joints of these action figures. So there you go with a very lively series. Find these usually typically over on Amazon and or Walmart has them usually in the back gaming area with Pokemon, Treasure X, interesting items like that. You can find them pretty easy and I'm hoping that as these uh, sit on shelf a little more on Amazon, I bet you will, we will see some good clearance prices on them because I kind of feel like they always overproduce these and then all of a sudden they're on a really good deal. So keep an eye out that way. But that is the Snaps, the Security Breach Snaps. Oh no, Glamrock Freddy Guard or whatever that is. She's throwing stuff at us again. She's throwing stuff. Stop throwing stuff. Get, get back in your box. I wish you would get back in your box. You're too scary. So I say the second wave of Funko Snaps Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach turned out pretty good. I love to just mix and match. The more, the more the merrier of matching a mixing. If you like today's video, please give us a squike, squirrel live, squam at your favorite uh, Five Nights at Freddy's character you'd like to see in Snaps. Maybe another series. I don't know. Will they continue? It's hard to say. They always have some interesting things going on at Funko. Don't forget we also have Squirrel Stampede merch now like a plush Landry, some t-shirts and other weird objects. Thank you so much for watching, that's what I have to say about that.